Hi, this is me back here again at my new Feed the Beast base. Isn't very fancy, I know. But this is actually my future self speaking, and my past self is back there here to explain how I even got here in the first place. So, here I will stop talking and let my past self chime in. Alright, so if this goes as planned, this should probably be in my next video. But basically this whole tree thing, you know how I said that, that's, that's not going to work. I got up here, as you can see I cut down this gigantic thing with this lumber axe. And the reason why it's so destroyed already is because I got up here and basically this happened. I probably wanted to do this, but... It occurred to me that this isn't exactly what I want to do, because there's not really... It's just, there's not really enough space up here to conduct a uh, thing and feed the beast. So, I got up to this point, and I started cutting, and then this whole thing fell down here. I mean, you can see, this is all the wood I got from that. Oh my gosh, I have like two chests really far away from here that have even more bark and wood in it. I mean... Oh my gosh, if you ever want to farm trees, this is the way to go. Oh my gosh, this gets you wood for days, but it's not going to work. I'm going to have to find something different to do. I mean, I had this great plan in my head that I wanted to, you know, live in one of these trees and blah, 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 but it's just, it's simply not big enough. The trees aren't big enough to support what I want to do, and they're also too annoying to actually climb up and down, because unless I have, like, a jetpack or something, which isn't going to be for... At least another couple episodes, probably. I have no plans to make a tree base like this. It's just not worth it. To be honest, it really isn't. Oh, hey. There's this. Whoa, I guess I'm going down in it. Okay, then. I didn't mean to do that, but I guess I'm in here now. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. So, I'll just set myself back to my future self, so that you can hear what he has to say. So, yeah. Ooh, jungle temple. Okay, then. I gotta record this, of course, because it's a jungle temple. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure if I want to know what it is. I don't know what that is, either. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. So, what does this jungle temple entail, I wonder? What is in it? What are you doing? Actually, get in the jungle temple. Alright. Where could be the entrance for this? I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I am just going to mine right into it, because I am just like that. Okay, this is probably going to have nothing good in it. I can see the future. Uh, except for, you know, the redstone stuff. The redstone stuff could be good, but the rest of it, probably not. There's another pure firehawk right here. It shot me anyway. <laughs> that guy's nice. Shiny ingots! What is that, I dare ask? What is that? Gold, shiny, floppy disk. Whatever you use that for, I have no idea. Mm. Oh, wait, I need this moss stone. I need it. This is actually good that I found this. I need this moss stone. What should I put away? Because I need it to make moss so that I can repair my tools. So I'm just going to take these because I don't care. I'm just going to take them. I do, however, know that there's something in here, and I don't feel like doing this puzzle, because I'm not even sure what the solution is, so I'm just going to break in it. And there we go. Die <gasps> Oh, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, then. I needed that. I definitely needed that. I love these things. I'm not going to take the tin It's Not diamonds, but these miniature red hearts. Those are really, really, really rare drops from mobs. But they give you an extra heart, like a Zelda heart canister. But instead, your heart turns, like, golden color. And then it gives you basically two hearts in one heart. So it's awesome, and I love it. But anyway, I'm going to get some of this moss stone. And then continue on with my future self.
Okay, so this is me back in the present, and I've had my eye on something for a little bit. These dynamos and the energy cells from thermal expansion. Now, the reason why I want these is because I don't really know. Other than me being able to charge up these tools, because that's the biggest reason why I want this, because I was gonna do industrial craft until I realized it changed completely, and now it's probably even more difficult than Greg Tag to do, so I don't really know why I would do that. I don't really know why anyone would do that, so I'm just gonna do this instead, because this is easier. But basically, I'm gonna make a leadstone energy cell, or probably just a hardened energy cell, because that seems better. But yeah, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna make this steam dynamo right here. This thing, that's pretty cheap the way you generate energy. Basically just lava, water, that's it. That's all you need to generate energy. It doesn't generate very much, mind you, but it still generates energy. So, now what I have to do is I have to make the steam dynamo, obviously. The transmission coil is just silver ingot to redstone like that. And I don't have the recipe memorized, so I'd have to check back at it again. Oh, yeah. And then it's just two of these gears, which if they're still made the same as they used to be, which I think they are. Yep, just like that. So then... Bam, 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 bam. It's like that. And then you put the copper... And you make copper gears. And you put copper gears. And then you put some copper and this isn't what I was supposed to do I'm coming in this little unprepared oh okay then it's like that and then you put the coil and then boom steam dynamo and what I'm going to use this for is powering the pulverizer because I actually need the pulverizer to make the leadstone energy cell because it requires this thing which you need an alloy to make which you cannot make without you know gold silver so I'm going to need to make that and how I'm going to make this pulverizer is I need a piston, which is pretty simple to make, obviously. Just go and get this little guy over here. You put it in here. You put it right there. You put that right there. And you make a piston. It's like explanatory. And then you make a machine frame. You get flint. You get copper. You get a redstone reception coil. Now, the machine frame... Still pretty easy. I, I don't really know why you use steel for it, but you can use iron for it, and gold, and glass. And I'm going to make this and come back in a second. All right, so now that I've got this pulverizer, all I need to do is put it right up against this steam dynamo, which I'm going to just put right here for now. I don't really know what else to do with it. And what you do with this is just get some buckets, get some water. You put the bucket of water inside of this, and then it fills up with water, obviously. All right, and then you power it with coal. You put the coal right there. It makes steam, and looky, 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 looky. It's actually powering the pulverizer. This is amazing, I know. And I really gotta do something to stop these guys from coming down here, because that is gonna get really annoying after a while. Okay, dudes, just, I'm just gonna, hope you don't mind. It's gonna do that for now. But what you do in here is let me see this. Let me see this real quick. What was I making? Ah yes. I wanted to make the electrum. And what you need to make the electrum is pulverized silver and gold dust. So what you need to do is put some silver. It will pulverize it. It will get you silver dust. You pulverize this. We'll get you gold dust. And then, after that, well, actually, I'm going to... You can turn off the engine simply by just using a lever, so that's what I'm going to do. Just put a lever right there. Turn it off. Okay, so you put this in a crafting table. It makes electrum. Then you smelt it in any furnace you want to. And it makes electrum ingots. So, this leadstone energy cell, all you need is a block of redstone, some glass, and some lead pretty simple. So I'm just going to go over here and make it simply by doing this. Put redstone block, glass, lead. There's a leadstone energy cell. 
And then the redstone conductions coil, some copper ingots. Pretty simple, actually. <laughs> then you put some redstone. And then you finish it with copper. Now, this is basically like a bat box for thermal expansion. It's... It's... This is the lowest tier one. So that's the reason why I'm making this hardened one, which you need invar for, which I'm going to need to smelt. Not smelt. I'm going to need to get the blend, which is ferrous metal and pulverized iron. So... I have ferrous ore somewhere. I know that. Here it is, right here. So, the handy thing about the pulverizer is that it actually makes two dust out of ores, which is one of the main reasons why most people get it in the first place. So there's pulverized ferrous metal. And then all I need to do is put four iron ingots in here, and it'll pulverize all of them so that I can make electrum blend. Or not electrum blend, it's invar blend. And then I can make an even better sort of energy cell, which I just showed about two seconds ago, called the hardened one. Just make some invar blend. I'm just going to one, two, three, four, smelt all of that, and scared cave noise. So, yeah, this is actually really simple. I did not think it was going to be that simple. So, now that I've shown you the basics of how this works, I will come back when I have this all set up to show the end result. Well, now that I got that worked up, it's just, you know, energy cell, steam dynamo, not that complicated. I'm going to do what I meant to do for this, and that is to make these tools chargeable with that. Yes, chargeable with redstone flux. This is sort of overpowered, not gonna lie. But basically what I'm going to make is you can attach these hardened flux capacitators for a modifier to one of your tools so you can charge it. What you need is to make one of these to make a hardened one. So you just put sulfur, you put... I didn't bring any copper with me, that was a mistake. Let's get that copper. You put the copper right here, you put the leadstone, not the coal, the leadstone. Then you put that. And then I can't remember what to do. I have a terrible memory. And you put redstone. And there's the leadstone flux capacitor. Then you put invar ingots. And tin. And more redstone. And then you've got yourself... A hardened flux capacitor. Now, I would say that this lumber axe is probably the one that needs it the most right now. So I'm just gonna put it on it. Like... As follows. Zero out of 400,000 RF. My music has been too loud. I need to turn that down a little bit. Probably a little bit too loud for recording. But, as you can see, when I actually... Hmm. I need the tool charger upper thingy. <laughs> the tool charger upper thingy. But yes, that is what I need. The energetic infuser is in fact what I need. Apparently you need another leadstone, blah, 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 blah. But if you want to use redstone RF, that's what you need to use to charge this up. So I'm going to set that up and then come back and then that will probably be the end of the episode. Alright, so I got that hooked up and as you can see, the energetic infuser is actually infusing redstone flux into my axe, which is good. That means that I'm actually making progress. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't have thought in a thousand years. But basically, I just had to change this one to an output face instead of an input face, and it all works out like that. So, I didn't use these, but what these do is they're basically just like pipes for the energy, but I shouldn't need to use them for a while. And for a while, I mean for about... until I get more than two machines, or more than three, actually, more than three. Which actually shouldn't be for a while. But as you can see, this has only been in here for probably like a half a minute and it's already a fourth filled up. So, pretty, pretty cool that you can actually just completely replenish your tools forever with RF energy. That is... That's actually kind of really super easy to do. So, you should definitely do if you got the opportunity. Anyway, here's my little... Ore berry bush farm out here. I actually got 14 aluminum ore berries from it already, which I was not expecting. But 
yeah, I will see you in the next video when hopefully I will be actually decorating my base and using some really cool stuff called Energized Glowstone. Really, really cool. It's like upside down water that glows. It's awesome. But anyway, I will see you then.